Hello guys and welcome to my jungle. It's getting more and more like a jungle every time you see it, I think. These are all Nepenthes. I shall go over them in another video, but today we're going to talk about triops. Okay, because I have a little triop kit here. And we're going to open it together. And we're going to see exactly how it is you breed these little things. Well, not breed them, how you take care of them basically. I've never had triops ever in my life before but they're a pretty fascinating little animal. Let's see if I can get a decent picture here. This is Nick Baker's um, Growing Amazing Pond Monsters with Triop. Explored amazing worlds of triop with naturalist Nick Baker. I am nothing to do with these people by the way so let's have a little look and get this open. <clears throat> never been opened. I don't know what's in the box. I'm pretty hyped to see these little guys because I've always, always wanted to try them and I just never have had them, ever. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys have ever had triops yourselves. Let's see, what is in this kit? Looks like an instruction manual, a tiny wee tank, pretty small. We shall see as well guys as well if I feel like these animals need a bigger a tank as well. I, I will provide them one because I'll prob probably be able to get some kind of food storage container that is much much bigger than this for them. We might even put a filter in it as well. Alright, so let's have a look. Pretty nicely packed. The kit is pretty basic as far as I can see it's a container so far. Let's see what's in this little bag. Now I know that these little things the little triops come from eggs like brine shrimp. So they're going to be pretty fascinating for me. And there's nothing else in here. Empty. Boop. Let's open this thing. You can see a bag of sand. And a little spoon. Pepe, I was actually needing one of these anyway, so that's actually awesome. We have, what is this? What is this? Is this a ticket? This is the... There's eggs in here somewhere. Would it, would it be nice if I could find the eggs? To show you one. Ah. Probably not going to happen. Because I don't know even what they look like. Let's see. So we have a little bag of sand. Try out food not for human consumption. Wash hands after use. Okay, there's no more instructions with this. So there you go. That is what's in our try up kit. We have sand, a little tub of food and a spoon. I don't know what the spoon's for. Maybe that's to put into your thing. Let's have a little look at the instructions before we start. <coughs> not for children over seven years. <laughs> not for children over. Not for children over seven years of age. What the, the wording is totally weird in this. Warning for children over seven years of age. Only. Yes, I said it wrong. Contents tank lid. As we have try up eggs, try up food, pipette, sand. We'll also need a bottle of spring water and a supply of clean rainwater. I think we can use our own water and uh, do this ourselves. Spring water, how do you guys reckon spring water TDS wise? But 200, 300. Try ups, I would imagine, come from a place where the salinity is quite high, so we'll go for 300. Let's see. The kit is in the hands of the guy for budding naturalists and contain, contains in the equipment need, needed to observe and study the fascinating life of triops. The kit is designed to be fun and informative for kids of all ages. Well, that's me taken care of. The best time of year is to use this kit in the summer months between May and September, so that's okay for us, as the triops will only hatch when the water temperature is above 21 degrees Celsius. So it's that temperature in here already, so we don't have to worry about that. And uh, need at least 12 hours of daylight, we have that in here. Blah blah blah. Uh, you can use a desk lamp, it says here, with a 40 watt light bulb. Your triops are guaranteed to hatch, so if you have any problems, see the details at the back of the booklet. Finally, I hope you have some fun with this kit and discover some fascinating insights into the truly amazing life of the triops. Which we will. Hey, let's see, getting started. There's an introduction here telling you all about triops. I don't know if you guys want me to read this or not. When you add the water to a little pocket of dirt that is included in this kit, you will be launched into the bizarre life of the ancient little animal that has been doing the same thing rather successfully for 300 million years. Triops produced 
pronounced, but not produced triops. Let's see, getting started, we need to put our water in. All you need to do in order to get the most of your traps is recreate the conditions in the temporary pool. Temporary, you know what it says there. So first you need a source of some water enough to fill the tank. The trap tank, rain water is best, cheapest but bottled still. Still spring water is also good, so... Bottled still spring water is actually different from rain water, so... We'll see what else it says. If using bottled water, read the small print and try and avoid using any purified water. Also avoid water that has chlorine, chlorine added to it. That includes some tap water. Rinse out your tank. Okay. Rinse out the tank. Don't use soap, it says. Then wipe it dry. Add, a, a, add rain or bottled water to the tank until about three quarters full. Ensure the water. I take it there's salt in here, then they're telling me to use just rain water. Ensure the water in the tank room is in temperature of 21 degrees Celsius before adding the eggs. Okay. I know for sure mine's is already. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see. I know you don't want me to get things wrong here, but. The water, when the water is at temperature, sprinkle half the bag of detritus into the water. Half the bag of detritus. I take it that is this stuff then. This is what they're calling detritus, is it? Because it looks like detritus. It looks like kind of like compost. It's something else. What else does it say in here? I can't read that for this light. From used in man made ponds or something. Yeah, actually, it says try up eggs on it, so we know what they are. Let's see. I'm interested in this part to do with the water, guys, because this, uh, spring water is not the same as rain water. I know that for sure. If you get spring water, or is that mineral water? Maybe I'm getting it mixed up. But they are telling me to add just RO water, basically. Hmm. What I think we'll do guys right is because the instructions are not super clear um, I think what we'll do is we'll fill this with RO water we'll put the sand in and then we'll measure the TDS okay just to make sure because this is going to have to have I reckon it's going to have to have salt in it at least okay so let's do that I'm going to go over here this is aged RO water been here a couple of days. Oh, it's too heavy, guys. I can't hold it. I think this is going to go here as well. So let's just set up on the freezer and then come back to it. I think. Let me take you off this stand, actually. I think you would like to see actual little aquarium. Okay, this might be a better position for you. Down here, by this little aquarium. What will we do? Let's just put the sand in. I'll keep you guys updated on this as well. I think it'll be really, really interesting to see. Put the sand in. I think what I'll also do, guys, is I'll set up a separate tank for this. says to use rain water. There you go. Rain water. I suppose is, it may be correct actually because you'd imagine these things are dry in the sand. Dry in the sand all the time and then the rain will come and it will be rain water so that makes sense. Let's put it half the bag of this, these eggs in. Let's just do it over. Oh well, I can, I think I can actually see the eggs. You might be able to see them. It says we'd not be able to see them, but I, I, I can swear guys I can see what looks like eggs scattering to the ground. Have any of you guys ever bred uh, Zebra Daniels? That is the size it says now to stir. So 
So just to stir this a little bit, just to give the detritus a little bit of a chance to sink. And also it says to use the pipette to squirt down the sides to make sure that the detritus and the eggs are in the water. Now I'll have to read this again. Why, why is it I'm only to use half? Why are we only to use half of the detritus, the egg mix? wonder if it's in case it doesn't hatch or something. Let's see. Let's have a little look at the instructions together. Hopefully I won't switch the camera off. Right. And the water is up to temperature. Sprinkle half the bag with detritus into the water. This contains the triop eggs. Give the detritus a brisk stir with the pipette to mix it through thoroughly. Then use the pipette to wash it in the sides with clean water to ensure no eggs are stuck to the side of the tank. The eggs are so small you will not be able to see them. Your triop should start to hatch within 24 hours, but they may take upwards of 7 days, so be patient. Uh, but don't panic, we have a solution. See the back of the book. Also, there's LSDGs that will be so small they will be difficult to see. So what is the other half of the this bag for? I don't get why you want to use half. Hmm. That's a little bit interesting. So we have the trap eggs in here now anyway. I'll move them to the new home over here by the side of this tank and we shall see how it goes guys. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed today's video. And I'll keep you updated on this every week. As soon as I see something moving, I'll make a new video about it so you guys can see it as well. Because I think these guys will be rather fascinating, okay? Catch you in the next one. Have a shrimp game, guys.